What's going on guys, Zach Evanish here from undergroundstrength.tv and I've got the weekend learning, reading, ass kicking list. Now I started off doing these uh, for subscribers of the Underground Strength Insider. If you go to undergroundstrength.tv you'll see it on the right hand of your screen. Make sure you subscribe, got some very cool gifts for you. And uh, this thing has evolved and morphed like all the other things that I do. So I've got a little bit of a list here. And the weekend learning list is really a time for people to not veg out, sit on their ass all weekend, eating shit food, watching football and watching other men live their dreams. And uh, I think that's no way to go about life. Weekend for me is usually a bigger time with my family, but I also still wake up early. I train. I run the underground strength gym. I get some important stuff done. And, and even on the weekends, there's times where I do get a little bit of me time and I just will read a book or study something. So it's a powerful learning time, and every weekend I do these uh, weekend learning slash weekend reading recommendations to help you guys learn. So I want to show you guys a couple of books that I've got down here in the office, and I've also got a lot of books um, upstairs. So I'm going to share a couple things i got. Been really focusing on nutrition. Got the Paleo Dieters, Missing Link. This is going to be uh, a solid one because I'm really focusing through the past few years on just getting back to eating normally and eating clean, which is actually what I did in my younger years. And then when I got to those mid-20s and started getting injuries and started uh, kind of getting a lot of stress because I was teaching, coaching, working out of college, pursuing my master's degree, making a transition from training at a hardcore gym to training in the garage, all those stressful things. And changing the way I ate, <clears throat> it just changed the way my metabolism worked. And uh, through those years, as the internet boomed, as you guys know, there are so many fad diets out there. And uh, there are certainly diets or quote-unquote nutrition plans that work. But I found that work, what works best for me is going back to the basics of eating clean, eating frequently, getting, getting rid of uh, milk, breads, dairy products, keeping it real simple. But I'm constantly learning because I need to be able to help any of the people I train, whether it's the athletes, whether it's the adults. Um, and what I've learned is that as, the, as there's been more and more info out there, people are more and more confused. Number two, picked up some books uh, because I was interviewing uh, Stu Smith, former Navy SEAL. Got some awesome information here. Stu was one of the earlier guys um, in the e-commerce world, so I've been picking up a lot of interesting information. And then on the business front, reading Stephen Pressfield's Turning Pro, which is all about getting away um, from basically making excuses and not really achieving or obtaining the potential that you have as an author, as a creator, or as an artist of any sort. Um, and the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is people have been asking me what podcast that I'm listening to. So I'm going to rattle off real quick. Um, my list of podcasts that we've got here, my stations, my podcasts, uh, listening to um, Weightlift and Talk, Travis Mash, John North, Barbell Shrugged is excellent, as well as their, uh, I guess, brother, web, uh, brother website, brother podcast is their Barbell Business Podcast. Ron McKeefrey does a great job. He interviewed me, um, and his, his podcast is called Iron Game Chalk Talk. He really connects with some of the top uh, level strength conditioning, quote unquote, performance coaches out there does an amazing job of asking the right questions. Uh, Barbell Shrugged is going to be out here in New Jersey along with Travis next weekend, and uh, I'll be on their podcast as well, so stay tuned for that. Um, Entrepreneur on Fire, on and off, of course, listening to um, my boy Joe Rogan. Love uh, everything he does, talking about the craziness. School of Greatness with Lewis Howes. I love marketing with Joe Polish and Dean Jackson. Sometimes listen to my buddy's podcast called Wrestling Life, which is a podcast after um, wrestling, which is real interesting. So, Social Triggers Insider, Derek Halpern. My boy, Mark Smelly Bell's Powercast. I'll be on that one as well. And uh, Paul Mark Fitness Marketing Podcast. So you get a little shot of all those things right there. And I've been on Paul Mort's podcast as well. So the constant, uh, the constant learning never ends. A couple movies that I mentioned that I'd seen that I have been uh, really digging. Um, Into the Wild with uh, Emil Hirsch, which was amazing. I've rewatched 
Um, 180 Degrees South, which is uh, kind of an inspirational story behind what Yvon Chouinard did with the company Patagonia. I actually read his book called Let My People Go Surfing. I've got it somewhere up here. You guys can take a look at, uh, we've got a pretty heavy duty bookshelf right there, and another bookshelf there, and even behind the computer are um, more books piled in trunks, in drawers. It's just constant, constant learning, constant reading. So, on the weekend, take some time, wake up early, read a book. At night, when you're with, uh, whether you're involved in a relationship or not, watch an inspirational movie, a documentary, an autobiography, something that gets you thinking in a, in a better way about life. A movie um, that uh, one of the uh, original movies slash documentaries that really started firing me up um, is uh, Gyro, Dreams of Sushi, which was on Netflix, and of course the Bones Brigade documentary. I love hearing about people that are trendsetters and breaking the quote-unquote rules, and I love, love, love when I see people uh, with that passion and the pursuit of excellence. It is amazing how many people will tell me and even others that you're too passionate, you shouldn't do this. When you listen to somebody like Arnold Schwarzenegger talk, he, ha he always says, don't listen to the naysayers. There have been countless people that told him, don't leave Austria, don't be a bodybuilder, you can't be a movie star, you have an accent, your name is difficult to pronounce, you should stay here in Austria, you shouldn't go to America, you'll be you know, flat on your face. Never listen to the naysayers, trust your gut instincts, whether it's life, whether it's business, you will, your gut instincts have a, have a good tendency of not being on the wrong side. A couple things we're going to talk about now is uh, out here in New Jersey, it is cold, colder than normal. We've got a, an actual winter here where it's snowing and the temperatures are in the low teens and sometimes in the single digits. I know that would be considered a heat wave for some of you out in uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin, but out here it's cold and it's played a very unique uh, part on how I feel. My uh, legs and my back have been extremely tight. And um, after consulting a lot with my buddies, uh, Brian McKenzie and Kelly Starrett, um, especially Brian, he's got me doing more foam rolling on that rumble roller than ever before. In fact, I'm probably doing it sometimes five times as much in each day. And I was having some knee pain, and I really went intense on the uh, mobility work using a rumble roller. And I'm going to link up where I pick up my uh, rumble rollers and all my mobility tools in the information section of this YouTube channel as well as on my blog at undergroundstrength.tv but I want you guys to take into account how the different weather, the different seasons, different times of year, even the different time of day how it could play into your training, into your mobility and into your overall health. For example, when I'm training athletes it is a different warm-up for the group that trains at 9 a.m. on a weekend versus the group that trains in the afternoon and evening on a weekday, it's a it's a different warm up. It's got more mobility um, <clears throat> and just more activation and getting not just the body ready but the mind ready. And yesterday, if I would not have done all that mobility work, I would not have hit a PR on my back squat of 395. 395 is not heavy. If you've been following me for a while, you know I've mentioned being able to squat 455 for sets of three to five solid reps back in my early and mid 20s. Once I had that ACL surgery, my leg strength and my overall leg capacity changed. I've had three knee surgeries on the right knee, and uh, yesterday doing all that mobility work and prepping the body, prepping the mind, is what allowed me to hit those numbers. And I'm at the age of 38 now, where really I'm not supposed to be climbing in strength, right? I'm supposed to be weaker, fatter, out of shape, lazy, unmotivated, all that bullshit stuff. But once again, who's got time? Uh, to listen to the naysayers and really all the pussies out there that are just trying to hold you back. When people are threatened by you or they're, they, get, they feel awkward when somebody's more motivated or somehow poses a threat to them, they will do the bullshit to hold you back and to hold you down. At age 38, I don't see myself getting weaker or slower in any form. I'm just constantly chasing greater health, greater strength, and overall more you know, badassery. Badass, baby. So, take into account the mobility, the different times of year, different time of day, and the weather. 
Another thing that I want to talk to you guys about, simple stuff that hit me pretty hard. <clears throat> Posted a uh, blog recently about what to do when you have uh, lower back pain, strain your lower back, and uh, somebody had asked about uh, lower back imbalances or back imbalances. And uh, <clears throat> the comments really hit home because some of the people that dropped comments who had had uh, back issues, they said here are these simple things they did. They started drinking a lot more water. Um, I personally started just focusing on getting back on a regular um, uh, reg regiment of uh, taking my vitamins, taking my mineral minerals. My nutrition has to get better and back on track. Here I am crushing a greens drink. And uh, the way you eat, your sleep habits, your overall lifestyle can have a huge impact, positive or negative, on your performance. So when I was talking to BMAC about pain in my ankle, pain in my knee, he looked at my nutrition and he said, you've got to eat more. You have to get a little bit more carbs in there. Then talking with these guys on my blog, I'm really grateful when you guys comment. They just said simple things like, here I am standing. I uh, rarely sit, and when I do spend time sitting, I feel like shit, and so will you. The way I try to describe sitting to people is that it's like smoking for your lower back and hips. The way smoking affects your heart, your lungs, <clears throat> sitting will really crush your back and hips. And this is why we see so many of these you know, younger kids and people that work in corporate offices. They're not allowed to stand up. They're not allowed to move around. It's um, really damaging their health. So standing, working your posture while you stand, you're more productive. You're going to be healthier. And then go back to the basics, the simple things. Drink a lot of Drink a lot of water, eat quality foods, focus on like what we have right here. Focus on getting information from these books, Paleo Dieters, Missing Link, Adam Farah, Rob Wolf has a great book. I'm also reading uh, ah, another book I mentioned earlier. That's also um, another paleo book and really it helps you do what I like to call simplifying. I'm really just kind of coming around full circle where I actually used to be quite a simple person before I became an entrepreneur, where it was just, you know, work, train, and just really have a have a, a good lifestyle and not have so many crazy things going on around me. I'm doing the same thing with, with the business, doing the same thing with the lifestyle, trying to simplify things. I even came across somebody today um, who's out in Pennsylvania who's running his business out of his farm, out of his barn, and he lives on a nine-acre property, and he's becoming self-sufficient, farming his own food for his family. Something that I don't see myself being a farmer, but I do see myself uh, and the family getting away a little bit more often to simpler, quieter lifestyle, and also uh, being a little bit more self-sufficient. Believe it or not, my wife has a small garden out here in the backyard and um, you know, gets uh, plants some amazing vegetables. Sometimes some hybrid shit grows out of there, but it's good stuff. So, in a nutshell, let's break down this weekend learning list. Books on training, nutrition, lifestyle, great things happening there. The Navy SEAL books with Stu Smith, Adam Farris, Paleo Dieters, uh, Missing Link. I picked up 10 copies of uh, Mark Devine's The Way of the Seal. I've been giving that out to a lot of adults at the gym. Also gave out Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle from Tom Venuto. Turning Pro, if you're an entrepreneur, is an amazing book by Stephen Pressfield. You guys just got the laundry list of my podcasts. I'm a real learning fiend. I don't really listen to much music. Um, most of the time it is a podcast. With uh, mobility, it's something that I'm recommending. Everybody has to take probably 10 times more seriously than, than you already do. Most of us, I know, we're into hard charging, heavy lifting. We want to do the things that are aggressive and exciting, and mobility and flexibility is just not the stuff that really gets you all excited. But it is the thing that can either make or break you, make you feel like shit, or help you break PRs, as I've been doing. So it's something I want you to take into account seriously. I'll link up the foam rollers that I buy so you can check those out. And now the simple stuff getting back to eating clean, lots of, lots of, uh, lots of uh, water, having a greens drink once a day, getting back on a steady diet of just the proper vitamins, the simple stuff, magnesium, zinc, 
um, the B complex vitamins, extra vitamin C, calcium before you go to bed, some garlic, real simple stuff, but the things that actually, it's like the small hinges that turn big doors that I want you guys to think about. And um, that's it. A lot of things to take action with here. And that's really what life is. You have to put things into action, put them into play, and do really what you know is going to be better for you. And um, don't worry about what other people are doing, as I like to say. Um, and as you've seen that famous quote, you know, wolves don't lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. You're either part of the wolf pack or you're following the herd. So that is some serious food for thought. That is this weekend's learning list. That is a long freaking video. I hope you made it through with some uh, bulletproof coffee. And I'll see you guys at undergroundstrength.tv. Peace out.